Yo guys, so welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be on Overwatch 2 and boosting your FPS and visibility within the game. We're going to go through a couple of the windows and battle net settings that you can change and then we'll go into some of the in-game settings that you can look at as well to boost your FPS. So let's go. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at battle net and what you want to do is come over to your game. So Overwatch 2, you'll click onto the options, you're going to the game settings and from here you're going to click on app. Within the app there's a couple things you can do but what I'd recommend to do mainly is to change the on-game launch setting from keep battle net open to either exit completely or minimize the system just to release the CPU from having too much to do as well as your RAM, you know, just bring down that usage just a little bit. The next thing that I would do is come on over to your search tab on Windows and go into graphic settings. Within the graphic settings, there are a couple things that you could have a look at, but if you have the option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I would recommend to turn that off. Please do test it yourself though within the training room because people have had differing results. For most games, I've been using it as off. I think that's probably the best option just overall, but you know, make sure you try it yourself and see if it's uh, an improvement for you within the training room or something like that. You can also come down to the bottom here and change like your game to the high performance tab, but I've noticed this doesn't really do a whole lot for a lot of the games I play, so it kind of feels a little bit pointless to do that. So what I recommend mainly here is just making sure that you have GPU scheduling set to off. The next thing I want to make sure you have a look at is game mode settings in your Windows option. So go to the search bar, type in game mode and come up with this option here. From here, what you want to do is make sure that you have game mode on. It feels quite improved. I don't know how it is on Windows 11, but for Windows 10 users, I would definitely recommend having it on. For Windows 11, I'd say give it a try and see how it feels, you know, practicing the training room again like you did with the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So if you're an NVIDIA user, then I would recommend coming into the control panel and we're going to go through some of the color settings here just to make your game a little bit more vibrant. If you're an AMD user, you might have similar options, but I'm doing this specifically for the NVIDIA users here. The first thing we want to do is come into the adjust desktop color settings and from here you want to select your main monitor and bring up the digital vibrance all the way up to 80%. Your game basically will have a lot more vibrant colors, the saturation will be increased and you don't have to mess around with monitor settings to get that improvement. Uh, you can do this for any NVIDIA GPU so make sure you use it. Additionally if you'd like to copy along with my 3D settings just to max out your FPS and performance in game then follow along with these although this isn't really the main feature of the video as I don't think Overwatch really has that much impact from these. Um, it's more so for AAA titles with bigger graphic requirements. Now the last thing we want to do while we're in Windows settings is to go into Task Manager and make sure you sort out everything that's on startup. You don't want a lot of applications or programs to be opening as you are booting up your computer so I recommend disabling pretty much anything that you don't want to use straight away every single day. Things like Cortana and everything else you can disable or find, nobody uses those sort of things. Any applications that you don't use all the time straight away just disable them and if you need to use them you can just boot them up later but it has such an impact on your performance that if you forget to turn them off and disable them in the Processes tab it's just going to sap away your performance for the entire time so make sure you disable things on start up and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump in some of the in-game settings now and then we'll talk a bit more about them there. Right, so you join me in game now. So what the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our options and we're gonna go and have a look at some of the graphic settings in game. Now let's go through each of these options one by one so we can talk a bit more about them as well. Uh, display mode you want to set to full screen. If you are a streamer or if you like tapping out a lot, borders windows is okay, but I recommend full screen for the best, you know, lowest input sort of gameplay. Make sure you've got your target display set to monitor one, your resolution is set to your highest resolution and you're using the max refresh rate of your monitor. I am actually not doing that, I've just realized now, so I'll be setting my set mine to 280. Uh, FOV set to 103, your aspect ratio is 16 by 9, dynamic render scale we're keeping off for now, we're keeping a lot of these sort of techniques off for now just because I know there's things we could be doing but we're not going to mess about with that just yet because there are some, some technical things you can try. Uh, set your render scale to custom, 100% in-game resolution, frame rate to custom, make sure you've got this maxed out to 600, V-Sync off, triple buffering off, reduce buffering off, and if you're on NVIDIA, make sure you select enabled and boost. You can mess about a little bit with reduced buffering. Uh, I don't recommend that, to be honest with you. If you just want the smoothest experience possible, I recommend just keeping things as basic as possible as you're going to see as we go into our deeper advanced settings. So now that we've gone through the video tab, let's talk a bit more about some of the actual graphic settings you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pass through of the settings that I actually use. And then we're going to go and talk a little bit more about something you can try just to gain a bit more performance if you really want to. So first things first, we're going to set our graphics quality to low because we're going to adjust it all anyway. We'll ignore high quality upsampling for now because we can come back to that later on. And we're going to start going through the settings that I actually run with normally. Now typically I'd run with high, although if you want to max out performance completely without the best sort of fidelity, I would say run low. But I like the visual appeal of the game and so I keep my texture quality on high. But like I said, low is also fine if you want to max out completely. Texture filtering quality I have on 1x. You can go up to 4x, but if you're looking to maximize, again, keep it on to low 1x. Local fog detail we set to low. Dynamic reflections we have off. Shadow detail off. The importance of having shadows isn't that prevalent in a game like Overwatch where sound is so loud anyway. Um, it's not important to have shadows popping up on your screen. Model detail we still have set to low. Effects detail set to low. Lighting low. Anti-aliasing we have on low. You can use it off but I like to have a little bit of an edge to the gameplay. So that's why I keep that on that. Refraction quality set to low. Screen track quality is 1x whatever. Ambient occlusion make sure I have it off. Reflections off and damage FX we have set to default. I think you can mess about with low but again I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible. And I haven't messed about with that option too much, so I wouldn't recommend testing it out yourself either. Just keep it on default. 
details tab quickly you can just enable some of these performance settings but i'm pretty sure you probably already have them on anyway but for me i just have the uh, frame rate for my game on and i have my gpu temp set on as well and when i'm in game i also have the network latency to see my ping in game uh, yeah, just come in here and turn them on if you want to come and see those stats pretty useful to see anyway back to the high quality upsampling section we were potentially going to have a look at trying out amd fsr and as you can see performance wise it can be fairly similar to what i actually have set now anyway so this is why i'm not fully recommending it but if you are someone that thinks that you can probably push a bit more out of a lower end system then potentially i would say set your md fsr to 1.0 and make sure you have image sharpening on 0.25 that way your game's going to look fairly sharp and you can adjust this setting a bit more so go a bit higher if you wanted to just to make your game a little bit sharper for performance though i don't really notice it increasing all that much so i would recommend just sticking with the default and just the settings i'd recommended before now if you really want to boost performance you can set your render scale and your in-game resolution probably to about 80 to 85 percent if you really want to max out your performance Although I don't really recommend this because your game is going to look a hell of a lot worse and I personally don't recommend it for a, you know maybe a 10% gain for your game to look that much worse. I really don't recommend it. And well now as you can see I'm on 600 FPS locked in the training room. Obviously it's not a great example of what it would be like in game but it gives you a rough idea of how the game is going to feel smoothness wise and also the colouring of the game, how vibrant it feels and the sort of textures of the models and how they look as well. Like I said, obviously I've got a couple options that you can turn up or down depending on how you feel and if you want maximum fidelity. Alternatively, um, keep everything on low and the game will look just as good as well. It's important to note that I do have OBS open here as well, so my FPS would probably be a little bit higher if I didn't have it open, although obviously you're not gonna see that with a 600 cap in game. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and you're gonna get some use out of it. Don't forget to you know like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, click the video on screen now if you wanna watch some more of my content and I will see you in the next video.